Uh, hi, everybody. Um, in this keynote, I, I will try to explain uh, what we are making at MAFE, uh, which is an old French insurance company based in the west uh, of the country. Um, some uh, words about me. Uh, I'm in charge of the digital transformation of, of the corporation. Uh, I, as you know, uh, a lot of European uh, companies try to to surf on the digital wave, and uh, they have to, to change many things uh, into the, 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 the corporation. So from IT to HR, uh, we are deploying uh, right now a, a big plan uh, which is impacting all, uh, all the direction. And of course, uh, in the field of data, uh, we are trying to, to pave the way for a safe data company. Uh, I will uh, speak uh, uh, about what uh, it, it means for, for us. Uh, why, uh, just uh, before to, to focus uh, on MAIF, uh, I would like to, to, to share with you uh, the reasons uh, who led us to explore this uh, new, uh, new paradigm. So, wh what is the context today for a, a company like, like my, my, MAIF? Um, we are convinced that today all the industries, all the services have to become a, a tech company. Uh, for many years we are using data, insurance is an old one, all industry which manipulate uh, and uh, uh, use data to build uh, products. And uh, uh, we have to, 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 to go uh, uh, further uh, to, to try to uh, to become uh, a digital company, and, uh, and to do that, uh, we must explore and uh, try to understand uh, what does it mean to be, uh, to be a digital, uh, digital corporation. Uh, more law is uh, changing uh, many things. Uh, all the industries are, are impacted by, by digital. We are challenged by startups. Insurance is still protected, but when you look at the bank industry and other, other industries, you could be sure that uh, in some days, uh, Google or a kind of Uber would uh, try to, to change the way we make our business. And uh, to uh, master technology, uh, we need to uh, explore, try, uh, use uh, uh, computer science, uh, data science, but uh, it could, it could not, it must be done uh, with a, a, a way uh, that uh, match with the culture of the company. I will explain what is, uh, what is MAIF. So, what we are uh, uh, in front of us is not just uh, small uh, startups, but also big, big uh, corporation, GAFAs, uh, which have become a huge beast and which have created an um, oligopolistic situation. Uh, they dominate their uh, activity and they have the capacity to explore many other business. Uh, but for us, we are a B2C company. We have a, a strong relationship with our customers. The big threat is that we are in risk to lose the relation, the link with our, our, our customers. Um, and um, the way they, they build this kind of intimacy, uh, it's because they have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of data. And this situation is raising a lot of uh, ethic questions for us. So, I, I will try to, uh, to use a uh, uh, the expression, uh, a concept which has been built by uh, Laurence Lessig, which is a, a famous American academic, uh, to explain how, how, we are try, how we are trying to understand the, the, the situation and, and how we must make choices uh, uh, in the front of data. Um, you know that according to Laurence Lessig, code is low, and uh, behind the technology, uh, there are different ways of, of making it. The technology uh, uh, can be open source, uh, can be proprietary, you can build a wiki, you can build a black box. So uh, it's just a question of choice. 
And regarding the way you take, finally, you, you set new rules, you set new principles about value creation and customer relationship. And what we think is that today, the rules which have been laid down by GAFAs uh, could represent uh, a, threat, a threat for liberty in cyberspace, but also in, the, in a free market. So, because they are building oligopolistic situation, because they are building black box containing a precious asset or data, uh, we, are, we, are, we, have tried, we are trying to uh, make another choice because we have not the same DNA, and I will explain uh, in a few, uh, few minutes uh, uh, what characterizes uh, MAFE. So, we have a battle to, uh, to address. Uh, you know that I is a new oil. We, the new oil, we have a lot of expressions to, to characterize this, uh, this, this resource. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the core question um, for us is the question of trust. Uh, and it's not just a question of uh, uh, making a, uh, an advertisement campaign uh, uh, with a lot of uh, uh, good intention, but to try to uh, code in the relationship between MAFE and our customers this principle of trust. So, MAFE. MAFE is uh, an old company created in 1934, and it's one of the first peer-to-peer -peer company in France, maybe, because we have been created by our customers. Teacher, French teacher, have created this mutuel uh, at the beginning uh, of the last century to uh, cover their risk, and uh, uh, it's a kind of common, a kind of wiki company, uh, but uh, an old one. So it's a company who belong to our customers, and our obsession, our main goal, is to build the best products for for them and uh, ensure them that we are making a good use of their money, because we need money in insurance to, uh, to make some good products, but we need also a lot of data to build this kind of products. So, this principle of peer-to-peer -peer architecture has been uh, projected, or, sorry, if I, I take the, 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 the architecture of the, of the corporation, and if I take again the, the sentence of Laurence Lessig, code is, lo code is law, architecture is politics, the choice we have made is really simple for us, finally, because we are a decentralized, decentralized company, yet. Uh, we have uh, the leaders of the company are the customers. Uh, our board is uh, uh, build is uh, uh, is uh, is, uh, is composed uh, of our customers who are elected each year. So it's a specific uh, kind of organization which allows us to explore the self data paradigm uh, uh, very very uh, in comment uh, uh, en profondeur very in depth. In depth. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> so, what are our ambitions? We need uh, to work with other guys because it's, um, I think, uh, a mistake to stay alone and uh, trying to understand what does it mean to uh, uh, give the data back to our customers. So, Fing, uh, Daniel and his team, uh, is uh, leading in France uh, an initiative which gather other French corporations, Orange, EDF, AXA, many others, La Poste, and we are trying to uh, give the data back to all customers, and it's not always uh, obvious because uh, uh, for uh, uh, professionals for the company, uh, we think we are convinced that this data belongs to us. But because the brand, because the DNA of the company is fundamentally uh, organized around uh, the principle of a community-driven company, 
We have decided with uh, the leaders, the board, and the CEO of the, the corporation uh, to try to, uh, to give the data back to our 3 million uh, customers. And uh, we are trying to do this uh, in a test and learn mode because uh, that's challenged the IT system and uh, for a lot of direction is a new way uh, to uh, build uh, the relationship between uh, uh, us and, uh, and, uh, and our customers. So we are working with Cozy Cloud, uh, self data startups, uh, to uh, try to uh, give back the data, but it's not always obvious because you know, uh, uh, put a CSV or an Excel uh, file uh, in uh, uh, websites, it's not very interesting for, for, for our customers. Uh, so there is a lot of challenge to address, to, to see how to visualize and to, to provide new services to our customers. But we are convinced that uh, uh, this question of safe data is not just a question of uh, relationship or ethic. It's also a way to build better products for our customers. Uh, by leveraging, uh, leveraging vendor relationship management systems, uh, I mean uh, doctor's concept, uh, we, we think that we can build tomorrow uh, a smart insurance uh, running, uh, executing in a personal cloud. I try to, to, to take uh, uh, an example. Uh, because the system allows my personal data to be gathered under my control in one place, the smart insurance is proactive, precise, and useful, and could anticipate some needs of coverage. You go to ski in one week, the data in the calendar is detected by the smart insurance into uh, the uh, personal cloud. You can activate on demand a specific coverage guarantee for my customer. So you can really personalize the way you protect the people, and you have not to buy a, a product. And often, in the insurance company, insurance industry, you are not convinced by the uh, uh, quality of the coverage, and uh, the system in the personal cloud could solve this problem. But it's executed locally. It's not in the cloud of the data center of Naif, but in the personal cloud of the customer. It's just the beginning. We are working with the marketing. And what is very interesting is that today in the organization, the IT direction, the marketing direction, are convinced that this is a new way uh, to, uh, to explore. But of course, it's still difficult because um, it's a new one, a new paradigm we, we have, uh, we have to, to test. So just to, to finish, uh, you, you can see a, a, a picture which has been uh, drawn uh, some months ago by uh, uh, our board, our board of Naif, <laughs> and uh, it was just a game. But to try to visualize, finally, the, the choice we have to make, uh, do we want to become a black box and centralize and centralize all the data of the people? Or do we want to uh, project on our IT systems the same architecture that uh, characterizes uh, the company, which is a mutual? And we are convinced that you can, uh, uh, by making that, respect uh, uh, the, the promise you made to be a, a, a trusted third party. Uh, so uh, it's uh, just, uh, just the beginning, but maybe the next year, just before the, the, the European law uh, is active, as you know, we have now uh, a new, uh, new rule to, to, to respect. Uh, we are trying to, uh, to deploy a personal data platform uh, for our 3 million, 3 million customers. Thank you. <laughs>